For Josh Fraser, game number 200 in front of 76,000. For Collingwood fans, a letdown after nine straight wins. With the minor premiership in the bag for the first time since 1977 and the finals a week away, Collingwood appeared to relax as it met Hawthorne. Gets it moving quickly into the hole is uh, Murphy. Spills to side bottom. Snap. Makes a very good fist of it. Better than that. That is a wonderful goal from Steele side bottom. The Pies' renowned pressure was lacking in the first term and they failed to force the turnovers they had benefited from all season. Finding Blair off the ground. Goal. Collingwood in front. So just managed to spoil it the death. But uh, doing the roving is Beams. Long ball to the forward 50. And the mark taken by Jolly. Tight angle, but very kickable. And he does it well. Bangs it long. Jolly sets himself. Blair. Good handball to ball. And ball kicks a goal. Well, Collingwood here. Maxwell manages to get past Roughhead with no problem. Puts Collingwood back inside 50. Oh, good mark in front. No, not paid to Brown. Comes to Blair. Over the top to Davis. And Davis scrubs one and kicks a goal. Can't quite pick it up. Difficult one for a big man. He did well in the end, Fraser. Got it off to McCarthy. Now it comes to Swan, who puts the foot on the gas. Runs to 50. Goes for home. Super Collingwood led by 19 points at the 16-minute mark of the final term, but watched the Hawks kick the last four to win by three points. Dane Beams had a chance to steal the victory for the Pies with a set shot in the final minute, but his kick faded left. win the game for the Magpies, and he misses. He's missed it. Swan again outstanding, Blair, Jolly and Davis with two goals apiece. The Pies' errant kicking illustrated with 30 scoring shots to 23. We didn't take our chances. We've gone in 47, we've gone about 75% scoring ratio against it. So we just clearly didn't go in there enough and didn't to finish off well enough. And I, I just reckon that we, uh, option taking at times was quite poor.